guys, it's Rebecca. Everyone has a connection with music. Whether they listen to it a lot or listen to it only a little bit, they all have some weird story. And I was thinking about my stories uh, recently, and I'll, I'll tell you just a few of them. The first one is everyone hears lyrics wrong, even if the artist sings them as clear as they possibly could, someone is getting it wrong. Uh, my favorite story is my mom when she was little. Uh, the Sam and Dave song, Soul Man. Uh, the first lyric is, coming to you on a dusty road. My mom, when she was little, the first house that they lived in was on a road called Augusta Road. Like Augusta, Georgia, but not in Augusta, Georgia. Um, and she, for the longest time, m most of her childhood, thought that they were saying, coming to you on Augusta Road. Because when you're a child, you have everything is centered around your life experiences. <laughs> um, also, when you're young, you kind of misinterpret songs. Um, God, if you were little, if you saw Grease, the movie Grease when you were little, um, and then listened to the music or saw the movie again when you were an adult, you're like, oh my God, all this stuff is so sexual, I had no idea. And you were going around singing those lyrics, or at least I was, and most of my friends were, and you're like, what the fuck were we singing? We were singing about, like, sex and blowjobs and getting pregnant and stuff, like, we were like, nine um, another example that I have is the song by Boston, uh, Let Me Take You Home Tonight. I heard that when I, I first heard that when I was in elementary school, I think, and how I interpreted that song was not sexual at all. Um, I saw it as he was, like, offering her a ride home, like, let me drive you to your home tonight and then like you don't have a ride home, I'll be your, I'll be like the guy that drives you home. That's how I interpreted it when I d interpreted it, interpreted it <laughs> when I was young. Uh, it wasn't until late middle school, early high school, when I was listening to it, and I was like, "Holy fuck! He wants to, he wants to, he wants to fuck her." Um, and it's like, okay, that drastically changes that song for me. Um, another experience. I've had this experience with two separate songs. I've discussed it with other people. They've said that they've experienced it, but I was talking about it more recently with my brother, and he looked at me sideways like I had grown a second head. Like, he was like, what are you talking about? And that is knowing a song before hearing it. And it must be some kind of subconscious thing. Like, you hear it, but you're, you don't know that you're hearing it. And then... Um, and then when you actually hear it, hear it, like you're focusing on listening to it, you know the words, or you recognize the melody, or something like that, like you've known it forever. I have two songs like that. Um, there is a Beatles song, I think, yeah, it's Anytime at All. It's from the um, Hard Day's Night album. Uh, I think it's a B-side, because I don't think it was on the movie, or in the movie. Um... Anytime at all, first time I really heard that song, I knew every single word. My mom must have played it for me when I was little because popping up around sixth grade, I knew every single word. Um, so yeah. And then my second example, I know, is Beatles again, I know. It's uh, John Lennon's song, Instant Karma. Uh, it's that one, uh, yeah, we all shine on, like the moon and the stars and the sun. Okay, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. You know it. Everyone knows it. Um, and I had a dream where that entire song played in, like, the background. Like, like how a movie has, like, songs, like these epic songs playing in the background of, like, the pivotal scenes or the end or whatever. Um... That's what was happening to this, to like the climax of a dream. You know, climax is in story, not, don't be dirty. Get your head out of the gutter. Um, so, and then like two or three weeks later, I heard it on the radio or something like that. And I was like, I know this song. 
And I was like, this song was in my dream like two or three weeks ago. So, I don't know, probably another case of I had heard it without actually hearing it. So, what are your experiences? Uh, what's a song that you misinterpreted or the meaning or the lyrics when you were little? Or um, have you ever had an experience like me where you knew a song before knowing it? Um, tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Uh, I think misinterpreting lyric stories are always hilarious. Coming to you on Augusta Road. I think that's so cute. That's cute. That's just damn cute. That's something a kid would say. Um, I love you very much, and I will talk to you soon. And I can't wait to read what you wrote in the comments. Uh, again, I love you very much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Mwah.